So today I'm going to utilize the gas log assist feature that I had added on to my smoker. I went back and I took a look at uh, Chris Goodlander's video. He made one recently on these redesigned offset smokers. I think it's the one where he smoked a brisket. And in that video, he utilized the gas log assist. So you know, I figure, you know, I should go ahead and give this a shot. Maybe this will make my life easier, um, you know, getting things started. So I took a look at his video, and I'm going to try to follow those same steps that he provided or that he that he demonstrated um, they're also outlined on this red tag here uh, these are the instructions for the using the gas log assist so basically what they say is that you should when you start it you need to have your firebox door open the uh, door to the chamber needs to be open the smokestack as well as the griddle top so everything needs to be wide open uh, when you fire up the gas log assist all right so for this one i'm gonna use a bed of lump charcoal and i've got a couple of splits uh, on top of that and the instructions say you can either use a couple of pieces of crumpled paper or wax lighter cubes uh, to get your fire going before you turn on the, uh, the gas log assist. So I've got a couple of wax cubes in there. So let's see how this goes. Should take about 20 to 30 minutes to get a temp inside the firebox or, or a temperature inside of my chamber of about 225 degrees. So I'll come back and let you guys know how this turned out. Okay guys, we've been going for about five minutes. So I turned the gas log assist off set up my fireboard inside of the chamber so I can monitor the ambient ch temperature inside of the chamber. Um, Close the griddle top, left the stack open. As you can see I've got the door still wide open. Fireboard is reading about 132 degrees and climbing. So I think I'm going to leave the firebox door open for a while, see if I can get that temperature to keep climbing before I close it. So I think what I want to do is get to a good temperature and then I'll close the firebox and try and get it into a um, you know, get it to settle in. I'm not overly concerned about the temperature that I'm going to smoke at today since these are steaks, so I don't mind if it, if it gets a little hot. Uh, this is, again, this is just more about trying to find a process that works for me for getting my fire started and being able to start cooking you know, within a reasonable amount of time. My last cook, it took me about two hours uh, to get a temperature into the smoking range. And I'd like to cut that back 
considerably. So I'll check back, let you guys know how it goes, but I like what I see inside of the firebox so far. Okay guys, we've been going for about 15 minutes, keeping that firebox door open. I mean, I think this is all very positive, what I'm seeing inside of the firebox. Fireboard temperature inside the chamber is still climbing. It's at 171.6. So I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I think this might be a process that will work better for me, so I'm going to keep that firebox door open. Alright, so it's been about 25 minutes. We're up to 180 degrees. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and close the firebox door and see if that will, uh, see if, what kind of impact that will have because ultimately I want it to stabilize, you know, somewhere between 225, 275, whatever. All right, so we got the firebox door closed, got the damper wide open. So I want to see what kind of impact that has on the, on the temperatures. I mean, the smoke coming out of the stack, you know, everyone says you got to get that clean, that clean smoke, looking for a blue smoke. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping to achieve. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes since I got the fire ignited inside of the firebox using my gas log assist. Closed the firebox door a few minutes ago. When I last checked, it was 192. Now we're sitting right at 203 after 30 minutes. So I, I think we're definitely on the right track. So, in addition to using the gas log assist, I also used some oak wood that I picked up since my last cook. Right now I have uh, a couple of pieces of almond wood sitting on top of my firebox, on top of the griddle here. Um, but I know that oak burns hotter, whereas almond, from everything that I've read, it's more similar to like uh, pecan using a pecan wood. So I think I'm going to try to use like a combination for this particular cook. Um, but I'm definitely happy that I, I have a good supply now of, of oak wood. I think that'll be better uh, for getting my cook started and getting a nice hot temperature. So let me take a look inside of the firebox. So I'll probably wait another, at least another 15 minutes before I decide whether or not to add another split. But overall, I'm, I'm pleased. This is uh, very encouraging, definitely off to a better start uh, than what I've experienced with my first cooks. Let's see, it's been about 40, 42 minutes now, and Smoker is, fireboard is reading 239.5. And there you see the uh, true tell reading. True tell reads about 225. 
so my thought process was to you know no matter what let it go for about 45 minutes check to see if I need to add a split and then go ahead and, and get the meat on but this is much more of a desired start you know being able to get up to smoking temperature within 45 minutes is definitely ideal <clears throat> So I think the combination of using oak wood, the gas log assist, I used lump charcoal for my bed. I think all of those factors have yielded a nice improvement. So I think I'm about ready to get my steaks on. All right, 45 minutes in. Temperature inside the chambers, 242.5. I'm really not overly concerned today about the, the temperature getting too hot because I'm smoking steaks. I'm gonna go ahead and add a, a split. My other split here on the left side it still has a good ways to go. The smaller split was pretty much burnt down to coals, so I went ahead and added a, a split on top of that one. Add another piece of oak. Start getting it warm. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my steaks, get them on the grill, get them on the smoker. 243. So it seems like we've kind of, looks like we may have settled into the 240 range, which is good. So I'm very pleased. All right, we're gonna get these steaks on the smoker. Gotta tell you, the, the smell coming out of that beer marinade was great. So I really hope that the taste matches up with that smell. And then I seasoned them with uh, Montreal steak seasoning. I mean, I probably could put them on that top grate inside of the, the grate inside of the firebox and get a sear on them and grill them, but like I said, I, I really want to just play around with smoking some meat, so I'm going to go ahead and smoke these steaks. I know it will take longer, but I think the experience will uh, do me some good in the long run. All right, temperature dropped to 235 when I had the chamber door open. And I'll start monitoring everything. Let you guys know how it goes. Right, guys, I wanted to get another shot in before I lose all sunlight here. It's getting pretty dark. So to recap, I started my fire inside of the firebox about an hour and a half ago using the gas log assist. And I used, I probably used more lump charcoal than I needed. I probably used about one and a third chimneys full. I could probably, you know, cut that back to one chimney, but I didn't want to take any chances. 
So right now the temp is inside the chamber is sitting at 270 degrees. The steaks have been on the smoker now for a little bit over 40 minutes. Um, so yeah, overall I'm very pleased. You know, the, my main objective was to try and get uh, an effective fire started inside of my firebox and get up to a good smoking temperature within a reasonable amount of time. And it, it took me less than 45 minutes um, following this method. So this is something I'll definitely continue. Um, I think I have a pretty clean smoke going. Not sure though. Some of the time it looked a little bit gray to me. That's definitely something to, to work on. But you know, overall I feel like I achieved my, my top objective. So towards the end of the cook, I decided to do a reverse sear on the steak. So I moved them from inside the chamber to the grate that's inside of the firebox directly above the fire. And after all of my success, you know, getting the temps to where I wanted them to be, this is where I went wrong. I left my steaks on that grate inside of the firebox for too long. I probably should have only left the steaks on there for a minute or two, two minutes tops. But I left them on for like almost five minutes and I don't know what the temperature was inside on that grate, but it was clearly too hot. So you guessed it, my steaks ended up like hockey pucks. So no, I'm not going to show uh, video or pictures of my steaks, but it's okay. You know, overall, my main objective was to learn how to use the gas log assist and see if it would allow me to find a process that would work better for getting my fire started. And it, it was definitely a success and definitely something that I will continue to utilize moving forward. So for anyone out there who's considering buying a new offset smoker, especially if you're new to stick burning, I would highly encourage you if you're buying from Lone Star Grills or from Yoder or Lang uh, to definitely get the gas log assist it will make your life easier, save you a lot of potential frustration. All right, this is Kenyatta Robinson. Thanks again for your support. Appreciate you guys watching my videos and coming with me on my journey of learning how to use a stick burner. I really appreciate all of the feedback, and I'll see you guys in the next one.